Okay, you guys, I am not an expert at this. I just thought it, you guys might find it helpful if I shared what I know so far about Canvas because we're not getting a lot of direction. So um, if I can help you in any way, great. Um, yours will look a little bit different than mine. So if you have any questions, let me know. Again, I'm not an expert, so um, I'm just going to let you know kind of what I know so far. So um, I made a PowerPoint about things that you can do on your end of Canvas, like changing your notifications and all of that stuff. But I'm going to show you what you can do like in the classroom. So here are all my classrooms that I have so far. I have just done a practice one so that we can see and kind of do things together. So you'll see that nothing is on here yet. So the first thing I would say is go down to your, um, maybe if I can, settings. And the first thing is you can choose an image um, to add like first. So I have done a bunch of Bitmoji classrooms that I have of each one, so I might just pick one. So it doesn't have to be anything specific. Um, you don't have to add an image, but that's how you would do it if you wanted to. The one thing I will say, every time you make a change, you have to scroll down and click update or save or else it won't do anything. It won't save anything. So after you have that, really, I didn't change anything on here. I didn't know what to change. You will go to navigation. So you will see all of these things on the side over here. This is what the students will see too, unless you turn them off. So for me, I only want them to see the home page, um, pages, and modules. So anything that you don't want, click and drag below this line. So they won't be able to see any of these things that I'm dragging below. The only thing they will be able to see is what I keep up above. So I don't really care about any of these things. You could keep announcements. So you could do like weekly announcements if you wanted to. Um, I'm going to drag it down. So these are the only three, three things that I want them to know. So then I'm going to press save. So you'll see that it kind of changes over here. It shows right there that it's not visible to students. So if I were to go home and then I clicked, um, at any point you can click student view and this is what they will see. So I, if I click student view, well, I don't have any pages or modules, so that's why it's not popping up, but you can always do that at any point. Um, and see what they can see. So. The first thing that I did is made a welcome page. So I went to pages and there's nothing there. So you're gonna click the plus sign of click page and you can just type in welcome. So here's where you can write like a welcome letter. You can put a picture. I'm gonna do my picture of my Bitmoji. So I'm gonna do embed image. Here's where it kind of gets tricky with embedding things. You're going to click canvas. You're going to click my files and then upload a file. So it's already where I want it to be a Bitmoji classroom. I'm just going to choose one. You don't have to do a Bitmoji anything. You don't even have to add an image, but if you wanted to add one at the top and then you're going to click update and it will come up with your image right there. So if that's all you want to do, great. If not, then you can come down here and add anything you want. So welcome to the classroom. Never click save and publish, only click save. So then here's your first page if you want. Um, I'm gonna go back and add a button um, I can help you make buttons. I'm not going to do that right now, but I want this, um, to have buttons. So this can be my, also be my home screen. So I've already made buttons. So I'm going to go back in and click edit. And I'm going to add a button. 